Hey everybody, it's my gay kid, that resale guy. Yeah, the door is open back there, the cats keep scratching at the handle, so I just left it open because they keep bugging me today. So yeah, we got some sales to go over. I did a little thrift haul, so we got some stuff back here that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name's Mike, I go by that reseller guy. I saw on eBay, Amazon, and an antique booth, and I pick up those items at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, local auction, and just about anywhere where stuff is sold. So yeah, uh, let's get going. All right, here's everything that sold today, both on eBay and Amazon. We're gonna go over Amazon first, because I did actually sell two items on Amazon that I gotta ship out myself. Uh, first one's right here. It's just this Kodak Premium picture paper. These don't sell for a lot, but I always pick them up when I find them new and sealed because they are very easy to list on Amazon. I mean, really, it probably takes me less than 30 seconds to list one of these on Amazon. This one sold for $19.98 plus shipping. It's gonna fit right inside one of these padded flat rate mailers and ship out for under eight bucks. Next, we got this game up here. It's called Dominion. I've sold this one before. I think the last one I had was brand new and sealed. I don't remember because it's been a while. Uh, this one here I half shrink wrapped because the shrinker that I have isn't quite big enough to get the whole thing. So I just did that to keep it together during shipping. Uh, so it was in really good shape. I can't remember if it was partially sealed. Uh, yeah, I sold it as used very good. So it wasn't uh, like a new open box or anything like that. But this is one of the games that sell well. It's made by Rio Grande or Rio Grande Games, however you want to pronounce it. And a lot of their stuff does really well. So if you see them, they're usually in these bigger, fatter, thicker boxes. This one here sold for good money on Amazon. It went for $49.99 plus shipping. On eBay for some of the used ones, people were only asking $15, $20 plus shipping on eBay. So yeah, that's why this got listed on Amazon and got the sale there. So yeah, pretty good. Two sales, you know, we had one for 50, one for 20. So we got 70 bucks plus shipping on the two of those. All right, next we're going over to eBay. Uh, First, right off the top, we got this one here. I already got it packed up here in this medium flat rate box. That's how I'm gonna send it out. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean ship called the Empress. It's made by Mega Block. So yeah, it's not even Lego, but I, when I picked it up and showed it in my thrift haul, this set does really well and it wasn't even complete. It was missing a lot of the small inner parts to kind of hold it together a little better. Uh, but it did have all the sails, it had all the characters, it had all the parts to make it look like the full ship. So that part was nice. I picked it for $4 at a thrift store. We put it together and I ended up getting $49.99 plus shipping for this. So yeah, don't overlook Mega Blocks. They do sell. Gonna go over to a couple little sales. First, we got this autographed baseball. This is the Chicago Cubs. This is three players on here. Yeah, this is pretty much chicken scratch if you don't know what you're looking at. So the top is John Jay. Then we got Albert Almora in the middle and Kyle Schwarber is this little, yeah, that's his signature. Uh, that's the only three signatures on this baseball. Baseball is new and clean and it went for $14.99 plus shipping. Next, we have another race medal. You've seen me sell a bunch of them in the past. I talk them up all the time. Now again, they're not big money but you can get anywhere between 10 to, I've sold some as high as $50 for some specialty ones. But this one here is kind of new and unique or kind of different and new, unique. It's a running wild turkey trot 5K from 2016. I think I don't know they just bought it because of the graphics or maybe they actually did the race and they lost their medal. Either way, I got 9.99 plus shipping. Here we have some micro machines. These are all stormtroopers. So you got stormtroopers in a bunch of different poses down there. I sold the bounty hunters last week and this is the last of the micro machine Star Wars sets that I have. And this one was worth some good money. I think the bounty hunters sold for a little bit more. This one still did pretty good. I ended up getting $25 plus shipping. It is going up to Canada. So I'll just use pirate ship and simple export rate and it'll get up there cheap enough. All right, we're gonna go ahead here. This is a Stratomatic football game. If you've never seen Stratomatic or never looked for it, this is a good game. They make it for baseball, they make it for football, and I think they might've even made a basketball one. This one is a little bit older. I can't remember the dates on the box. Yeah, look, look at the date on the box. Focus 1968. So it is an older version. I already bagged up all the different teams because this is really the valuable part is it. This is all different players from each team. So this is the Philadelphia Eagles. And I bagged them up individually, showed them in my pictures. You got all the pieces and parts. 
Now, what some people do is they actually take those team sets and they'll list them individually. Maybe there's an Eagles collector or a Cowboys collector that just wants their team, and they might pay $10 or $20 just for that team. I'd rather just sell it as one big set, which is what I did. It was pretty complete. It didn't have every team, but it had the majority of them. Had it in my store for $129.99, I think it was, or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $99.99. So yeah, $1 under that 100 and I accepted. So yeah, it was basically 100 bucks plus shipping. Really great sale on this one here. Now, I did have one viewer sale, so thanks again to Laura for your continued support, both on YouTube and on eBay buying this stuff from me. You've been buying a lot of non-sport stuff. This is Bone by Jeff Smith. It was like a comic. I don't know too much about it. Uh, not worth a whole lot, but we still made a deal. So these are going up to Laura. So Laura, thanks again. I appreciate all the support. Now over here, we're gonna go to a little bit of a thrift haul because I did really good this morning. I ran out to only two stores, but I found some good stuff this morning. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of go across here. Now, if you've never looked for these or seen them before, these are old tennis balls and look at this one. It's still factory sealed on the top in one of these metal cans. They don't make them like this anymore. They come in like a plastic one. There are some specialty ones. You'll find some that are like Disney that sell for pretty good money. Just a, a can like this sells for like 10 to $12. So not a whole lot. I paid three. Uh, I'll probably list it for like $12.99 plus shipping. Got to clean it up a little bit. It is a little dirty. It was probably in somebody's garage for the last 20 years. Next, we got a little bobblehead. This is from Ghost Hunters and it is Grant Wilson. They made a second one for the other guy. I don't really watch the show, so I don't know their names. Let's see if it shows on the back. Nope, it doesn't show the other guy. Oh, Jason. So yeah, that's the other guy they make the bobblehead for. Got Grant and Jason. This was only a dollar. Uh, the pair of two sells for, you know, 10 or 15 bucks. So I'll probably just put this one in my booth, put it there for like $7.95 or something. And hopefully a Ghost Hunters fan will come through the antique mall. Next, we have this baseball. It was marked a dollar. It's an old Angels baseball, and it does have some autographs on there. I haven't really been able to identify them. They could be kind of nobody players. There's another one there, and I think the last one is right there. That looks like Matt somebody. Either way, what I'll do with this ball, like I said, I only picked it up for a dollar, is I will make a lot of different autographed baseballs, either ones that I can identify or maybe just lower name players put a dozen of them together and I usually get like three or four dollars a ball that way. So just a little way to flip some extra inventory. I thought this was kind of cool. This right here, oh, throwing it all over the place. You can see it better on the back. Look, you got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. See if it says down there. Yep, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and this is a barrel pen. Now there's no name brand on here. Let me see if it'll focus there. It just says Warner Brothers Entertainment. But yeah, kind of a cool pen. I think you can barely see Johnny Depp right there. I looked on eBay, I can't see any of these. So I paid a dollar for it. You know, I'll probably throw it out for like 12 bucks or something, see if I can get some either Johnny Depp or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory fan to buy this. And of course you see behind it, I got a couple of these Speak and Spell and a Speak and Read. I haven't tested them yet. One came in the box, the Speak and Read came in the box and they're fairly dirty. So I got to clean them up a little bit. And the worst part is the back, look at that, yeah person put their all their information on the back so I got to do some cleaning up see if I can get all that information out of there yeah sorry Lorraine that I'm putting your PO box out there these were only two bucks a piece hopefully they work put them together I'll probably get 15 to 20 bucks a piece is my guess the one has the box so that'll help I don't know if I'll sell them individually or just put them together we'll we'll decide later and the last one here in the back from the same store is this game here Quadro Pop Quadropolis, I guess you got to put the whole name together. I was like, Quadropolis? No, Quadropolis. Just some game. Yeah, made by Days of Wonder. I looked it up on Amazon and they're selling for, I think $39 shipped is Amazon's price. And they're the lowest because actually Amazon sells this. So the only way you can beat them is just to undercut their price a little bit. I'll check eBay, see if I'll cross list it on both places. But either way, it was two bucks. Yeah, so if I can pick it up for $2 and sell it for say $37, $38 ship, that's still pretty good. That was all at one store. We went to another store and when I first walked in, I saw that they had two carts of books and movies and DVDs and everything else sitting out that hadn't been attacked by the book scanners yet, which is amazing because 
every store has two, three, or four book scanners in it, I think, at all times. So I picked up some good stuff here. Uh, first, we got this Sonic Unleashed game. Now, it's not worth a lot. Probably $12, $12.99 shipped. I did use a coupon, so they were $4.29. We're going to say about $3.50 is what I paid. So yeah, for, for games, and this one was clean. That's why I went ahead and picked it up. This next one, uh, it's the Wii 101 Party Mega Mix in one game. Look, you can tell it's new and sealed. They didn't price it any higher. It still was $4.29. So again, we're saying $3.50. I think I already listed this on Amazon and I put it out there for like $27.99, I think is the price I listed it for. And the rest of these are all brand new and sealed, which is why I picked them up. Now I'm gated on Amazon from selling any sort of movies and DVDs. So these will all have to go on eBay, which the prices are much lower. Now, I need to find a way to where I can get ungated on Amazon. I need to find a distributor that I can buy movies from. I do have a business license, obviously. Uh, that way I can turn that in and get ungated because some of the prices are much, much better on there. So we'll go in order here. We got Tales from the Crypt. This is season seven. You can see the original price at Best Buy was $33.99. They didn't mark this any higher, just the regular DVD price of $3.29. So again, with coupon under $3.00. On Amazon, this one was like $30. On eBay, like 15 to 20. Next one could be a really good one. So this is Jack Black and his Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. Original price, $19.99 at Best Buy. But this was a bonus pack. So on the back, you got a CD of their music, I guess. Has, let's see, oh, deleted scenes, home movies, and some other stuff. So yeah, this on Amazon was like $40 or more, and there's only one new one available. Uh, again, it was $329. I think I'm gonna have to list it on eBay, and they're going for about 20 bucks. Next, we got some more Tales of the Crypt, but this is just a special duo that has these two movies on there. Again, it was $329, and it looks like it was going for about $15 to $20. This was an interesting one. PBS Home Video, The Natural History of the Chicken. Yeah, sounds like an amazing, amazing story to watch. Look at that lady with her pet chicken right there. And that girl with her pet chicken. Yeah, they're gonna eat it later. So uh, this on Amazon was pretty high. It was 40 plus dollars, I think. But again, I can't sell there. I looked over on eBay. There was only one sold at like $14. So I'm gonna price mine a little bit higher. Go $19.99 and hope it sells. Two more to go. We got Amadeus here, still new and sealed. Again, originally $19.99, wherever they were selling it. Still at $3.29 price. This one still did okay on eBay. I think it's around 15 bucks. And this one here, one of my all time favorites. We got Break Into Electric Boogaloo. If you've never seen this movie, this is a great shout out to the 80s to go back and watch this movie. Definitely uh, a sign of the times there with all the break dancing and the music and everything. Uh, this one here on Amazon, there were no new copies. There was a lot of used ones, but no new ones. Now I will take this little Best Buy $12.99 off before I sell it, if I sell it on Amazon somehow. If it goes on eBay, I'll list it the same way because that's about what it's going for. Maybe $15 to $20. There were a couple sold that were about $30, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get about $20 for it. And then right behind here, we got these two cute puppies. Uh, these just jumped out at me from the shelf, these cool bookshelves or book ends. And let me see the right one here. There is a little tag on it. Ooh, I got it upside down here. Let me see if I can get it the right way for you. See what focus is. That says Norleans, Japan. I looked it up and these things don't sell for a whole lot, but they are really cool. They're really cute. The only ones on eBay that have sold have been in the 10 to $15 range. And these are heavy. I bet they're at least a pound a piece, if not more. So I wouldn't want to have to ship these. These are going to go in my booth. They'll go in my booth probably for... Uh, we'll say $14.99. Now here's what they did. They priced both, the, both of them individually and I wasn't gonna pay $7 for them. So I took them up to the front. I told the girl, hey, the bookends, they marked them both, but I'm like, if you just charge me for the one, for the pair, I will take them. Otherwise I'm gonna put them back. And she said, yeah, that's that's fine. So got those for $3.49 plus coupon. So less than three bucks. Like I said, I think they're cute enough to where I can get 15 for them in my booth. All right, that's everything I picked up. That's the sales, let's slide back over. All right, that's it for today. Thanks everybody for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.